Hey everybody, it's movie night at the Lonely Vine, so pop some popcorn and let's go! Hello everyone, Jeff Eccles here with The Lonely Vine. Thank you for joining me on the show this week. Kind of a fun one, kind of a special one. Kicking back and watching the Psalm documentary tonight. Uh, you may not know what that is, uh, but it is a new documentary out that is uh, tracking, or that tracks uh, four sommeliers that are going for their master sommelier certification through the Guild of Sommeliers. Now, this is like the epitome of wine nerddom um, in the service industry. So, very grueling test. There's less than 200 uh, master sommeliers worldwide. Um, some have called it rightfully so, I think, the one of the hardest tests uh, on the planet. So I'm going to kick back and watch that tonight. And since, you know, I'm watching some of the best uh, in the business, I thought I should open a wine that, for what I have, let's be honest, uh, can carry the mantle of, of the best. And, you know, People can argue back and forth about what some of the best regions are, wine regions in the world. Uh, but you know, most of them will come back to top five, top three, top three, probably top two, would say uh, the Bordeaux uh, area of France. Uh, now I'm not breaking out any, uh, you know, Chateau Margaux or anything like that. That's not gonna happen. But what I do have is uh, this Chateau, Chateau Raison. Uh, so this is going to be uh, a wine from the Haute Medoc uh, region. So this is going to be the left bank of Bordeaux. Uh, this is going to be uh, in the northern section. It is Haute Medoc, so it's the upper Medoc. And uh, this is going to be actually, it's, it's close to the uh, Saint Estef uh, region where you do get some, some second growth uh, 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 chateaus uh, coming from that. So pretty near uh, the Garonne River. Uh, so we're looking at a really good area. You know, it's not the epitome, but this is still a classic area. This is going to be producing more of your day-to-day -day, uh, Bordeaux wines. Um, you know, this bottle here is under $25. I think it's more on the $22 dollar range so very affordable uh, grape wise grape variety wise you know it can have anywhere of up to six allowed grapes most likely you're looking at primarily Cabernet Sauvignon uh, and there's probably some Merlot blended in and then you don't know after that there could be uh, you know there could be some Malbec in there uh, but I just don't know uh, so, that's enough of that. Let's get into this wine, in this Bordeaux, and see what it has going on. Ding! Uh, it is the 2009, I guess I didn't talk about that. Uh, and, uh... 14% on the alcohol. Let's see. All right, color-wise, uh, you know, what are we looking at here? Really can't see much through it, maybe a little bit. A little bit of that glass staining, if you can see it there. Let me get a little spin there. Color-wise, you're definitely looking at that ruby kind of color. Uh, so, looking good so far. Let's see what the nose has in store for us.
So really getting some of those classic uh, olfactory senses going on there. Um, I'm getting a little bit of that wood spice. Uh, you know, I'm getting a little bit of Yep, getting a little bit of that cassis, maybe getting a little bit of that green pepper, uh, but not a whole lot. Getting more of the red fruits than the dark fruits. And you know, when I say I'm getting that wood spice, it's not overpowering or anything like that, even though I, it was the first thing I said, it is well integrated into the nose along with the fruits. So, so far, Things are looking good now. Let's get to the palate. You know, and there's just, you know, a lot of you may have had have gone with this strictly um, crepe variety play on a lot of the wines you drink. You may get, um, you know, an all uh, Cabernet Sauvignon or an all Merlot or an all Malbec, and you may and you may not spend a lot of times going with the blends. Or if you do, it's it's um, you know it's the wild blends, lots of stuff. But when you get into uh, you know especially like this. Cabernet, Merlot kind of blend, you really see how good blends can be and what they can do with them and really see the pieces of each one uh, kind of combining together and making something fantastic, which is what they have done with this wine. As you can see by how many times I was swallowing here, this has a nice acidity level to it. There is a good, good tannic structure to this wine, but yet it is smooth and they're not real gripping, they're not real tight, and that's kind of that blend coming in there, kind of evening things out, mellowing out a little bit to really make a nice play on the palate, um, a nice textural feel on the palate as well. Uh, 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 Fruit-wise, you know, I get that cassis coming through. I get a bit of a cranberry coming through as well. I get the raspberry. Yeah, so I'm getting those red fruits coming through. I'm getting that cassis kind of thing coming through. I am getting the oak uh, shining through a little bit and it's all wrapped up in this nice acidity, nice tannic structure. Uh, you know, so this is a really well-made, well-delivered wine. And if you're looking to try a Bordeaux-style blend, a Bordeaux uh, wine, uh, for a nice price point, this is this Chateau Raison is one to check out. I was uh, on a total off the subject note, I was talking to somebody today who was watching my show and they were laughing a lot and they're like are you hammered by the end of every show that you tape because you seem to drink like half the bottle and uh i had to laugh at it too because I, I was just noticed i was taking my third or fourth drink and uh so no i'm not hammered by the end of the show so just to to lay that straight no, just kidding. You know, as far as pairings go, it's everything you'd expect this would go with. Uh, you know, this isn't going to go very well with delicate dishes. This has got some structure. This has got some, some oomph coming behind it with the body. You're going to want to pair this with your bigger meals, richer sauces, more marbled meats. You know, so I'm looking at steak and potatoes, bring it on. Um, you know, maybe, uh, maybe, you know, this could go with, I'd put this with a burger, you know, that may sound a little weird, a Bordeaux with a burger, but I, I this, this could definitely go with it. Uh, but definitely looking at those red meats, um, 
heavier sauces, this is gonna go great. Great, I tell you. That's what I always tell you. So, all right, I think that's gonna do it for me. I've gotta go pop some popcorn and sit down and watch some. So, question for the show. Have you watched Psalm? Do you plan on watching Psalm if you haven't? And if you did, what did you think about it? Give me a score. Give me a rate Psalm if you've watched it in the comments below. I'm looking forward to getting into it. I hope you get a chance to check it out. If it's not in the theaters, it is available on iTunes. That's where I'm getting it from. And until next time, everybody. Cheers.